Good evening. I want to thank the League of Women Voters for hosting this forum tonight, and I want to thank all of you here and those watching at home. My name is Gil McDougall, but I know many of you remember me by my nickname, Butch McDougall. After high school, I went to West Georgia College, and there my instructors started calling me Gilbert, and I decided I liked that even less than Butch, so I asked them to start calling me Gil, and it stuck. I grew up here in Villarica. Many of you may not know that we lived in the housing projects when I was a kid, that I was adopted, that I lost both parents by the time I was 18, or that I was homeless for a period of time after that. I faced tough challenges in my life, but I always found a way to overcome. My mother died when I was still in high school. My most vivid memory from school is one where a particular teacher approached me and asked me to come and live with their family. I declined that offer, but that gesture of kindness impacted my view of this city and its generosity forever. I chose to raise my family here, three boys and three dogs. I'm a father, a business owner, and a foster parent. We've opened our home to literally hundreds of foster children over the years, and I am proud of the positive impact we have had on those kids. Running for mayor for me is about continuing to give back to a community that has given so much to me and my family, but it's also about duty, responsibility, and maintaining a steady course of action. I have spent the last three years on the city council focused on responsible solutions to the most pressing issues facing our city. I want to continue that work as our next mayor. I have the leadership, experience, and commitment to keep this city moving. A motto I have led by comes from Albert Einstein. We cannot solve our problems using the same logic we used when we created them. I look forward to your questions tonight. Thank you. We have concluded the question period and we're ready to start with the uh, closing statements. And Gil, you uh, are drawing the first closer, so we'll go to you first and then Michael will follow. Okay, well, thank you again to everyone for watching tonight, and especially to Dr. Lyons and his wife. I also want to thank the other two candidates for their interest in serving. When Jeff Reese decided not to seek re-election, I received a number of calls asking me to run. The decision was not easy, but ultimately I knew the path we were on as a city and the upcoming decisions that would need to be made were simply too important for me not to consider. Like other mayors before him, anyone who knows Jeff understands he has a true passion and love for this city. So when he decided to endorse me to become our next mayor, he did so knowing that I will strive to bring the same level of love, commitment, and ingenuity to lead this community forward. I am grateful for his confidence in me. I am convinced now, more than ever, that your decision for mayor will heavily influence the shape and direction we take over the criti critical course of the coming years. Cliff's notes and generic ideas are not enough to handle the serious challenges we currently face. I believe my solid tenure of service over the last three years on the council and a lifetime in this community have informed me in such a manner to continue leading this city responsibly. I'm the only candidate who has been alongside our employees when they've uncovered broken water lines only to discover rust and red clay I'm the only candidate who has negotiated an SDS agreement, and I'm the only candidate who has experience working with this city council, including commissioners and chairpersons of both Carroll and Douglas County. The people of this city know me. They know I'm serious about the work I do because I have already demonstrated that commitment in which I will continue as your next mayor. I humbly ask for your vote in partnership to move Villarica forward together. Thank you.